When Rosalie was six years old, she was at home with Renesme, who turned free. The Titans were tower with their parents. Raven and Robin had another baby, and they named her Violet Grayson. She was also has the same powers as her mother and sisters, but the whole family loves her very much. Rosalie looked outside to see Jump City in the distance from Titan's Tower. I wish I could see you and Mommy fight crime, Rosalie said. You'll see us fight crime one day, sweetheart, Raven said to her daughter. But right now, just enjoy being a kid. All right, Mommy, Rosalie said, as the crime alert went off. Rosalie, along with Renesmee and Violet, were babysat by Starfire, while the Titans went off to fight crime. Rosalie realized that she could fly to see the crime for herself, so she flew out of the Titan's Tower without anyone looking, and she flew across Jump City to find some crime to fight, or at least watch. Rosalie looked down to see the crime fighting, so she watched as she could see a giant ape attacking some people. She flew down to save some civilians. Rosalie was then grabbed by a man who then tried to take her away when a dark mutated person showed up and disappeared himself with Rosalie away from the man's grasp. Rosalie was in a safe zone and she wondered who that person was who saved her. She was going to see who that person was when Robin and Raven could see their daughter was out in the open of the crime zone. Rosalie! A voice was called out and it was Robin. He and Raven saw their daughter had snuck out of Titan's Tower. Dad? Mom? Rosalie was confused to see her parents found them. Raven held Rosalie close to her. Rosalie, thank God you're okay, Raven said. What are you doing here? Robin asked Rosalie. I wanted to see what crime is like and I can even help and... Rosalie started to speak when another villain attacked Robin and Raven blocked the villain's attack. Robin got up to see that it was Madame Rouge who was the one who interrupted the family conversation. Madame Rouge, Robin growled. Robin, Madame Rouge replied. She then notices Raven, Cyborg, Beast Boy, and Tara. Raven. Madame Rouge, Raven growled. Tara? Madame Rouge taunted Tara. Madame Rouge, I've heard about you, Tara replied. Cyborg, Beast Boy. Cyborg added, Great, now that we know each other, get out of our jump city! Your jump city? Madame Rouge asked. Then chuckled and pushed Cyborg down. Dude! Beast Boy said. What are you doing here, Madame Rouge? Robin asked. I thought we were done with the Brotherhood of Evil. Maybe you were, but I have something else in mind. Madame Rouge started talking. The Brotherhood of Peep Evil didn't die. We took a break for a while, so then we have decided that the Brotherhood of Evil would team up with the Hive Academy and destroy you all. Well, that ain't gonna happen. Raven replied, You can't stop us. Says who thinks that we can't stop us? Madame Rouge scoffed as Robin got in front of Rosalie. Dad, what's going on? Rosalie was then cut off by Raven getting beside Robin right in front of her. Rosalie, stay behind me, Robin said to his daughter. So we see that the leader of the Teen Titans, Robin, has a daughter and a wife, Madame Rouge said as she looked at Robin with anger. We're finished here, Madame Rouge, and if you ever come anywhere near me or my family along with my friends ever again, Robin snarled at Madame Rouge. I promise I won't be so nice about it, he said as the Titans along with Madame Rouge walked away. Robin and Raven took Rosalie to a park with stern, angry looks on their faces. Rosalie Elrella Grayson, what were you doing out there? Raven asked her daughter. You know you can't go to a crime scene, Robin added. You could have been killed. Mommy, Daddy, Rosalie began. I didn't mean to disobey you. We're telling you this because we all love you, Robin said to his daughter. We don't want to lose you. I know, Rosalie sighed. If something happened to you, Rose, Robin and I wouldn't know what to do, Raven said. One day we will not be here. And your father and I need you to carry on the Titans as a legend. You are going to be the leader of the Titans someday. I know. Rosalie finished her mother's sentence. That's right, sweetie. And your mother and I want you to be careful, Robin replied. As future leader of the Titans. What if I don't... I'm not ready to be a leader of the Titans, 
Rosalie said as she began to lose control of her powers until Raven calmed her daughter down. You don't want to lose control of your powers by having them get the best of you, Raven said. You're part of me and Robin's hearts, and you're part of the family. Rosalie was pulled into the, her arms of her mother and her father as they joined in the hug as well. As long as we have each other, we can make things happen, Raven said to Rosalie when the family was at the Titan's Tower. You'll understand someday, Rose. We know you will, Robin replied as Rosalie watched the sunset when and her parents walked inside Titan's Tower. From the doors that were on the roof, Rosalie wondered something. Who was that man that saved me? Rosalie asked herself. I hope I can meet him again someday. Even was different, I would like to know. A month later, Rosalie was playing with Starflight and Vanessa in the park area of Jump City. So Rosalie, who was that person that saw you saw? Vanessa asked. Was it a random person? I think so, but I'm not sure on who it was, Rosalie replied. I thought it was my mother at first, but it wasn't a woman. It was a man. So it must be someone you like, Starfire said happily. Well, like you haven't talked to him, but like he came out of nowhere and saved you. Yeah, just like how Tarzan saved Jane, Rosalie replied. Then she looked to see the teenage girls walking down the path. I wish we could all be in our teens. Then we could go out and do what we like, Vanessa said. As some teenage boy walked up towards the girls. Who is that? I'll handle this, Rosalie said as the teenage boy looked down at Rosalie. Hey girls, I've got some toys in my car if you want to come, the teenage boy said as the dark mutated person showed up and pushed the teenage boy away from Rosalie and her friends. That person was only there for a minute before disappearing. Who was that? Vanessa asked Rosalie. That person saved us again. Rosalie asked. I have no clue on who he is, but he saved us. Rosalie Grayson throughout the years grew up to be 14 years old. She was able to fight crime with her parents and the other Titans. She was learned how to control her powers, and when she got the hang of her powers, it all went very smoothly. Rosalie was eating pizza with Raven, Robin, along with her sister Renesme, who was 11 years old, Violet, who was 9, Alicia was 7, and Leo and Emily were both 5 years old. This pizza is great, Rosalie said to her parents. Thanks, sweetheart. It's what you all like, Raven replied. You're all perfect children, Robin said. He looked down to see Emily and Alicia, who both didn't have Raven's powers, and then he looked at his wife. I think Emily and Alicia are either don't have powers or they're just late on getting them. Powers are not. They will be Titans, Robin replied. Ra Raven replied as she kissed Robin. Rosalie could see in the distance there was something strange going on in the streets of Jump City. There was Cinder Block attacking Jump City and all the Titans got together to fight. Renesmee, take Violet, Alicia, Emily, and Leo back to the tower, Rosalie said to her sister. Renesme nodded and took her siblings back to the tower. Go ahead, Rose. You could say what you've always wanted to say. Robin smiled at his daughter. Rosalie nodded and smiled back at her father. Titans, go! Rosalie shouted as the Titans began to fight. The fight went on for a couple of minutes as Cinderblock was getting away. Rosalie flew after him. She thought that she lost him. She looked around and Cinderblock hit Rosalie that caused her to hit herself on the wall of one of the buildings. She got up and used her powers to knock Cinderblock down to the ground. You want a piece of me? Rosalie asked as she was getting ready to knock Cinderblock down. Azeroth Metreon Zithos! Rosalie's spell caused Cinderblock to be knocked out with waves of water, splashed from uh, the cid large Cinderblock monster down to the ground. We did it! Starfire Flight said, cheered, as Rosalie smiled at her parents and at the other Titans. Robin smiled at his daughter, along with Raven. You did very well, Rosalie. You sure are like the new image of your mother, Robin said, as he hugged his daughter. Rosalie then put up her hood down to reveal her long purple hair, which passed her shoulders. I did it, Mommy. I controlled my powers, Rosalie cheered, as she hugged her mother. Yes, you did, Rosalie. I always knew you had it in you, Raven replied as she smiled at her daughter. You go, girl. You could take on anything, Cyborg said to Rosalie. 
Do you all want to go to the beach? Starflight asked Rosalie and Vanessa. Yeah, I need to close down our old beach house up, Rosalie replied. Some people will demolish that beach house down by sometime in the fall before winter, Robin said to his daughter. All of our things after the beach house is gone just needs to be closed up, and then you're all good to go. Can me and Starflight and Vanessa go to the beach alone? Rosalie asked. You know, Dad. Like, just as friends? All right, Rosalie, Robin replied as he kissed his daughter's cheek. You and your friends can be trusted to go to the beach on your own. Thanks, Dad. I love you and Mom, Rosalie replied. Later on that day, it was around 2 p.m. Vanessa, along with Starflight and Rosalie, were all at the Jump City Beach. The girls were trying to find a spot on each of the beach to set their things down. This is where the food stands are busy, Vanessa said. Well, why not we move down closer to the old beach house, Rosalie suggested. Her friends nodded as they moved closer to the beach house. There was hardly anybody around that old beach house. That spot is perfect, Vanessa said happily, as the girls set up their beach stuff down, where they were in a shady place that had a cave inside. We're near a cave, so that way if it rains, we can hide in there. It's a pretty place to hang out in, Rosalie replied, as the girls were getting ready the, the, and putting their bathing suits on in the bushes above the cave. Two members of the hive were watching what was going on down below, as the girls were going to swim at the beach. That is Rosalie Grayson down there, is the right one, Seymour said to his best buddy named Kid Wicked. You should get to her to be, well, your friend. Kid Wicked nodded and smiled at the idea. He did save her twice when Rose, when she was just a kid. Go get it, or, or Tiger, Seymour said, as Kid Wicked nodded. Don't get caught. Ready to swim at the beach, girls? Starfire asked as two of her friends walked out of the cave in their bathing suits. Yeah, Rosalie cheered. Let's go swimming and have some fun. Rosalie, along with her friends, ran into the water and swam around in the beach. The water was refreshing. This water is so refreshing, Vanessa said to her friends. Rosalie, I'm glad you picked this a great day to go to the beach. I'm glad I did so. It's a nice day, day to swim and hang out, Rosalie replied as she splashed her friend Vanessa. The girls were hanging out at the beach until the sun was setting. That was really fun, Starflight said. The sun is setting. We should head home, Vanessa said as she and Rosalie ate the last bit of their ice cream cones. It looks like it's going to rain, Rosalie said, as she got changed from her bathing suit into her leotard and cloak. I gotta go close up the beach house. I'll catch up to you girls later. All right, Rose, take care, Vanessa said, as she and Starflight packed up their stuff, and Rosalie put her bathing suit and towel in the cave while she flew up to the beach house. She landed on the porch of the beach house and walked inside. Kid Wicked was watching Rosalie in the distance, keeping himself from being seen. Rosalie walked inside the beach house, where to see someone was in the house. Who are you? Rosalie asked the person. As the person walked up the stairs, Rosalie followed the man into one of the bedrooms that was empty. I'm closing the beach house down and you shouldn't be here, Rosalie said and saw the man had a lighter and lit the curtains on fire. Rosalie got out of the bedroom as the man started to fight Rosalie. Kid Wicked was at the front door, and he had a feeling that if that man tried to hurt Rosalie, he's ready to strike. Rosalie was then knocked down to the ground as the fire was spreading around the beach house. Rosalie was about ready to meet her fate when Kid Wicked jumps in front of her, punched a man away from her. He holds Rosalie near him as he teleports himself and Rosalie out of the beach house. Rosalie then got up with Kid Wicked, who helped her up to watch the beach house in the flames. The man who seemed to have fire powers walked out of the burning house. Oh God, Rosalie said, as Kid Wicked held onto her as they flew into the air to lose the man who burned down that beach house. Kid Wicked had to lose the man somehow. As Kid Wicked saw the man had grabbed onto Rosalie's cloak, oak, as Rosalie screams in terror, she tries to kick the man away from her. Kid Wicked eventually kicked the man in the face so hard that it caused him to fall into the water below, that his screams were heard. Rain clouds closed in on the sky as Kid Wicked and Rosalie teleported to the same cave where Rosalie and her friends were. Oh god, that was really scary. Running away from us, 
from a psychopathic person, Rosalie said, as the rain started to pour hard on the beach. Rosalie then walked out of the cave and sighed. Can't this day get any worse? Rosalie sighed, as she looked to see Kid Wicked standing in front of her. He, she was surprised that she backed up against the cave wall. Who are you? Rosalie asked, as Kid Wicked got closer to her. What are you doing? She asked, the strange person that saved her for the third time. You're really something. Kid Wicked was looking around, around Rosalie. He was curious on who she was. All right, back off, Rosalie said, as Kid Wicked got close to her. So she pushed Kid Wicked off of her. He shook his head and just stared at Rosalie. Stay away from me, Rosalie said as she tried to walk out of the cave. But no matter how hard she tried, Kid Wicked blocked her way by using his powers to get in front of her. Rosalie then backed away as Kid Wicked walked closer to her. Stay, Rosalie warned Kid Wicked. I'm warning you. I can try and take on you if you tried anything. Now that's close enough, dude. Rosalie said, as Kid Wicked's face was closer to her. How dare! Rosalie was about to smack Kid Wicked, but he grabbed her hand. What are... Rosalie was then cut off by Kid Wicked, who only grabbed her hand to be gentle. He had no intention on hurting her. Kid Wicked placed Rosalie's hand onto his, and he stared at Rosalie's purple eyes as his breathing was slow and quiet. He saw that Rosalie was going to pass out when he caught her and placed her down. He grabbed a bottle of water as Rosalie took a drink of water. Kid Wicked smiled at the fact that Rosalie would be okay. Okay. Then he just just stared at her as she rests. It was awkward for Rosalie to see the man who had saved her a while ago to be staring at her. But Kid Wicked didn't really care. He didn't find it to be awkward. He just waited and listened to the rain outside. It was music to his ears. And then... Pulls Rosalie to be up in a sitting position. Okay. Um, this is kind of weird. Rosalie asked. She was more distracted by Kid Wicked's kids staring at her. She smiled at the sound of the rain. Never mind what I said. Um, the rain outside is very nice. Rosalie added. Kid Wicked picked up on what Rosalie said. It's very nice. Kid Wicked spoke. Why, thank you, I... Rosalie stopped when she noticed that Kid Wicked just spoke to her. You do speak. She was surprised that Kid Wicked could talk. At first, I thought you had trouble talking to others, or you have a disability that makes you have trouble talking, and even... Rosalie was stopped when Kid Wicked placed his hand over Rosalie's mouth. Kid Wicked, he said to, to Rosalie, in order for to introduce himself to Rosalie. At first, Rosalie was confused. Kid Wicked, Kid Wicked said again. Oh, so your name is Kid Wicked. Rosalie asked as Kid Wicked nodded and smiled. Oh, I see, she said. Oh, I see, Kid Wicked repeated what Rosalie said. Kid Wicked, oh, I see. No, 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 no. Rosalie stopped Kid Wicked. I'm Rosalie. No, 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 no. Kid Wicked repeated what Rosalie said. I'm Rosalie. Now, Rosalie wanted to show Kid Wicked the proper way to introduce each other, so he wouldn't just repeat what she said. No, no. Rosalie started. Rosalie, Kid Wicked, Rosalie. Rosalie, Kid Wicked said, as he held Rosalie's hand. All of a sudden, Rosalie realized that the rain had stopped. Can you take me to my tower? Rosalie asked Kid Wicked. Of course, of course I can, Kid Wicked replied, as he pulls Rosalie to his arms. Wait, what are we doing? Rosalie asked her friend. It's called teleportation, Kid Wicked said, as he disappears with Rosalie. Meanwhile, back at Titan's Tower, Starflight and Vanessa were playing around on the roof top of Titan's Tower. Kid Wicked appears with Rosalie and Vanessa, Rosalie, Vanessa, and Starflight. They looked up and saw Rosalie with Kid Wicked. Rosalie's back, Starflight said, as Vanessa runs up to Rosalie and gave her best friend a hug. You're safe. Vanessa said, Whoever this boy is, I thank him for bringing you home. Starflight and Vanessa, this is Kid Wicked, Rosalie said, introducing Kid Wicked to her friends. He looks cute, Vanessa said. Isn't he one of the villains that Mom and Dad fought? I was, but I'm changing now that I saved you, you girls and Rosalie, Kid Wicked replied, 
As the sound of Raven and Robin Finn, Finn's parents rinsing, calling, and all that can be heard, Rosalie's heart started racing as she looked at Kid Wicked. You gotta get out of here, Kid Wicked. If my parents see you, you're dead, Rosalie said as Kid Wicked nodded and disappeared. She then looked at Starflight and Vanessa. Okay, girls, keep this Kid Wicked person a secret, Rosalie instructed. We will, Rose, Vanessa said, as she and Starflight both said it at the same time. Rosalie, Robin said, as he and Raven both gave their daughter a hug. We're so glad you're okay. We haven't heard from you in a while, Raven said. I'm okay, Mom. A man with fire powers burned down the beach house, Rosalie explained. But I was able to get away from the fire, and I'm okay. That's good. We all saw that it rained pretty hard, Robin replied. I am sure that hard rain put out the fire. Yeah, it did, Rosalie said to her mother and father. The next day, Robin called the kids along with the other Titans down for a meeting. Kids, Titans, into the living room, please. It's time for a staff meeting. What is it, Dad? Rosalie asked. The Hive along with the Brotherhood of Evil are planning something, and I need someone to go in and see if they could figure out what they're up to, Robin explained. I'll do it. Rosalie said. I know it will be hard, but I have a way to disguise myself. All right, Rosalie, but are you sure? Cyborg asked. She'll do fine, Raven said. Get ready, Rose, and whenever you're ready, we'll get you there. All right, Rosalie replied. She walked into her bedroom as she had to disguise herself as a villain, so that way no one will see her identity. Rosalie grabbed some of her stuff that had to do something to make her disguise realistic. I'm doing this, Kid Wicked, and I will get to know you more on this mission, Rosalie said to herself in the mirror. Rosalie took her cloak and ripped off the hood of the cloak. There's plenty of more cloaks where that one came from. Rosalie sprayed her cape, painted her cape black, like in the dark, and then she put her black hair dye to cover her purple hair. Once their hair dye was dried in her hair, so that her hair was black, Rosalie put her hair in a ponytail and placed a tattoo on the of a black rose. Are you ready, Rosalie? Raven asked as she knocked on her daughter's bedroom door. Yes, I am, Mom, Rosalie replied as she walks out of her bedroom. My villain name is Black Rose. That way, no one will know who I truly am. Nice costume I made, Robin said to his daughter. Now you can contact us when you know to do something. I will, Dad, Ra Rosalie replied as she nodded and teleported herself to the Hive Academy when she was at the front gates. She took a deep breath and walked inside.